Well, that's a great question. Today's top tournament captains are trying to rig their boat so that they've got the greatest amount of coverage under their boat, as well as the largest array of frequencies that they can have on their boat that they can fine tune and find the best combination of those to get more fish in the boat. So Chirp Ready transducers from Airmar come in high, medium, and low frequency bands. That bandwidth is a band of frequencies that your fish finder is going to transmit on, and each one acts a little bit differently and reflects off a different species um, differently. So finding the right frequencies for the right species that you're fishing is really critical. And today's captains want the most amount of frequencies they can have on board to make sure that they're gonna match the fishing that they're doing. The other is coverage. And as you can see from the graphic, at Airmar, we make a high frequency wide, a high wide transducer. These are great. The higher the frequency, the better the resolution. So the better the target separation. The high wide that we make really only works down to 500 feet, but that's gonna give you the most amount of resolution from zero or the surface down to 500 feet. It's the perfect searchlight to be looking for um, fish, obviously, and schools of bait fish that you can key on. So high wide is wide, high frequency, gives you a great performance at the top of the water column. The high frequency, a standard high frequency, is going to give you a narrow beam. That's great for concentrating that beam onto uh, things like wrecks and, and reefs and where you want a lot of detail from that high frequency in a smaller area. So that's one, one of the frequencies that captains will put on their boat. Medium, as you might imagine, is a little bit wider. It'll give you a little bit more depth because those frequencies will penetrate that water column just a bit further. And then low is going to give you the most amount of depth performance that you can, that you can get. It also has a nice wide beam. So what does a captain do? A captain wants to look at a couple of different things. Captain wants to look at the upper water column for certain species of fish that he's looking for that are in the upper column while keeping an eye a little bit deeper for something that that high wide beam might miss. So at the same time that captain's going to be using the high wide transducer as well as the low transducer on that fish finder and that fish finder is going to mesh those two frequency bands and coverage into one picture on their fish finder or they'll use separate fish finder or screens for each one of those purposes. Either way, that captain is trying to match the right frequencies and the right coverage for the game that they're playing that day. Now, I've heard questions of, are there opportunities for crosstalk and things like that? in the frequencies and the answer is yes absolutely if you've got something like an omni that's on or some other manufacturer's transducer you want to make sure that you have separation between those frequencies that are being used in that transducer and the frequencies being used on the airmar transducer it's easy to do you do it in the software you set it up once and you're good to go